I appreciate the movie era specific DreamWorks logo, but Ugwe is dead. Does this mean the normal DreamWorks fishing kid on the moon is also dead and a ghost? Long ago, narration. What had brought color and joy could also bring darkness and destruction. This movie suggests gunpowder was invented in the pursuit of pure joy. Also, huge important expositional backstory told quickly via narration and flashbacks cliche. What had brought color and joy could also bring darkness and destruction. That's true, but really only when the thing bringing color and joy is also made of explosives. I'd be really impressed if he had weaponized, say, a rainbow or meadow of flowers. He would be defeated by a warrior of black and white. I'm guessing in Kung Fu Panda 3, Po will fulfill some other prophecy, making him the Dexter of fulfilling Chinese prophecies. The young lord set out to change his fate, but what he did next only sealed it. That's the lesson Shifu learned in the first movie in 2008, and what Oedipus learned in the 5th century BC. This lesson is a very old storytelling device, is what I'm saying. Horrific panda genocide is firmly implied, but completely glossed over. According to this story, a crazy son who mastered the dark arts of gunpowder and killed all the pandas will simply turn around and leave when his happy fireworks joy joy parents banish him. Where is he hiding out? Mount Doom? If America still had a strong steel industry, movies wouldn't be so quick to characterize factories as places of evil. And then, the dragon warrior joined the Furious Five! And then if Poe joined the Furious Five, what does that make them now? The Ridiculous Six? The most awesome is These movies are obsessed with the word awesome. Plus ten sins for never cracking open a thesaurus. No one else is as impressed as I am with Poe's ability to speak with large quantities of food in his mouth. You'll save those for me, right? I sure as hell hope so. He shoved basically all of them in his mouth. Does inner peace also give you the ability to alter the properties of space and time? If not, then what kung fu power is allowing him to apparate from one location to another? Some choose to meditate for 50 years in a cave just like this, without the slightest taste of food or water. Those are the masters who died. Poe, the day you were chosen as Dragon Warrior was the worst day of my life. Shifu really knows how to cut deep. When we think of all the things that have happened to Shifu, his adopted son that he trained to be the Dragon Warrior wasn't the Dragon Warrior, and he went crazy and tried to kill everyone, and then he came back and tried to kill him, also his master being carried away by peach tree leaves and so on, saying this is pretty low. Bandits, approaching the musician's village. A whole village of musicians? Those bandits aren't gonna steal much more than empty pizza boxes and some rolling papers. Crane's ability to fly, even when he is carrying an inconceivable amount of weight, is so f***ing impressive I have trouble believing it. Is this rabbit warning every one of the attackers before they arrived? Was he able to see them through the dense fog in what I can only imagine is a Peter Pan-style flying pirate ship? If not, the timing of all this seems off. I hope this is the same rabbit from the first scene of the last movie that was high as f cause he looks a heck of a lot better here, but he still looks high as f Get all the metal you can find! Who is he talking to? He's definitely not within earshot of any of his hyena bandit friends. And did they not already know what the plan was before conducting this mission? I feel like this guy slash dog just likes to hear himself talk. Grab the metal! Is there anyone in their group confused about what they're trying to accomplish? Why do they keep repeating what they should all know they're here to do? Uh -huh. Good work, Poe. Warn them that you're coming. They are doing a lot of standing around for a group of dogs that just need some metal to finish their fleet of cannons. Shen would be pissed if he found out they were hanging around picking fights when they could easily head back with the medal. The one image opens up a cavalcade of buried traumatic memories cliché. Also, Poe's flashback is still inexplicably two-dimensional. So earlier when he said get all the metal you can find, he forgot to also say, so we can throw most of it off this cliff. Thank you for coming to Dragon Warrior Noodles and Tofu. Stage parents. He once waited on me. Awesome! Yeah, I have the stain to prove it. Wasn't this the dick pig from the last movie that made fun of Poe? Now he's a smug dick pig. Well, you see, uh... Son, uh, uh, baby geese come from a, a little egg. Is Ping really trying to tell Poe he is a goose? Besides him being obviously a panda, all the other animals have referred to him as panda countless times. Denial must run deep for Ping. You might have been kind of a, a, a adopted. Listen up, adoptive parents. Waiting this long to tell your child they're adopted is not cool. Then again, we also need to send Poe for somehow believing he could look like he does and be called Panda, but still be descended from skinny birds. Ping's flashbacks are not two-dimensional, so this problem is clearly isolated to Poe. Also, adoption backstory no one cares about. Poe is the only mammal who was raised without the need for milk. No wonder he's the dragon warrior. This is the only time in recorded history a conspicuous trail of food has not ended at a box propped up on a stick. Why is he just lightly chewing on that dumpling instead of eating it whole like the other ones he just had? Maybe he's full, but Poe is never full. Never being full must be a skill he learns later in life. Feeding and bathing a creature in the same container. And <laughs> try to put some pants on you. Those aren't even goose pants. That's just a small blanket. What is Ping's plan here? Maybe he's just telling Poe about the pants, but remembering a time when he tried to wipe his ass. And then I made a decision that would change my life forever. To make my soup without radishes. I don't think that was a decision as much as it was Poe ate all the radishes. But if he was being truthful, we wouldn't have this forced, unapologetic misdirection. One dumpling, please. Dragon warrior size. The f 
I just have so many questions. Why didn't I like pants? Because Ping didn't know the difference between pants and small blankets. <laughs> Did Lord Shen just use the force? Gently waving your wing in someone's general direction doesn't seem very kung fu-y to me. Maybe the guards are those easily startled narcoleptic goats. Yes, didn't you see the peacock on the front door? I guess he can get away with a statement when there is only one living peacock in this universe. It seems your fortune-telling skills are not as good as you thought. Ah, uh, the villain with an upper-class English accent cliché, arguably the best of all accent clichés. It's no southern accent equals stupid, but it's up there. Did this rhino carve those patterns onto his horn? Or is that just how they're built in this world? I want to believe he carved it himself, because that is hardcore. Show-off. Speaking of show-offs, he would have been able to use this cannon a lot sooner if he didn't bother to have it carved in the shape of a dragon. For a flightless bird, Shen is frightfully flightful. An additional sin for making me accidentally make up a word and coming up with a tongue twister. Some situations require a little less kung fu and a little more getting out of the f***ing way. Son of legendary flying rhino? Did anyone else just imagine a rhino with wings flying through the air, dipping in and out of the clouds, having the time of his life? Because I sure did. I mean, how can Kung Fu stop something that stops Kung Fu? Movie unintentionally tries to break your brain. I got you a travel pack. How did Ping know to pack him a travel pack? Did he know they were going to fight Shen before they did? Are all the bird species secretly evil and subservient to Lord Shen? Man, Kung Fu Panda 3 is going to be interesting. Also, Poe's dad vastly underestimates how much Poe eats, somehow. And that's me giving you a piggyback ride. This is a painting. Did Poe have to sit on Ping's back, causing him excruciating pain while someone painted this? Don't worry, Mr. Ping. He'll be back before you can say noodles. That is decidedly false. He probably would be less tired if he wasn't carrying that travel pack. No one else has a travel pack. Poe Ball. The animators in this film got too artsy again. What is it about kung fu that makes you no longer need mattresses or pillows? They should call it chiropractic foo. Poe hasn't eaten all these potatoes yet. Where did this boat come from? This is the first time they're actually using some mode of transportation instead of just leaping incredible distances. They probably had the boat all along, and Monkey remembered that they had the boat and said, Remember how we're always just jumping everywhere? Why don't we use that boat that we have on the outskirts of town? And everyone else was like, Oh yeah, the boat! We don't see this because Jackie Chan isn't allowed to talk in this movie either. How did he only wake up Tigress? The rest of the five are pretty heavy sleepers. I used to punch the ironwood trees by the palace to train. Now I feel nothing. Which would also explain why she has such giant hands. Poe, why are you really out here? Besides the fact that he's definitely the dragon warrior and it's his job, you mean? Your dad, the goose. That must have been quite a shock. I probably made a the jerk joke for the first movie, but it bears repeating. I'm amazed that Mantis has made it this long without getting squashed. If I felt something walk all over me like that, I would involuntarily swat at it, even if it was one of my friends. Poe's having daddy issues. What is it with the characters in this movie being arbitrarily and unnecessarily cruel? I get the symbolism here, and how this is a slap in the face to his father and all, but now he has nowhere to sit. He should have at least brought his own throne. And they replaced the chair with the cannon? Not only does Shen no longer have a place to sit, he has a giant cannon in his throne room that he will eventually have to move again because that's a cannon and it does no good just sitting in the middle of a room. 30 years I've waited for this moment. According to the internet, peacocks only live for about 15 years. But if he's partially made of metal, I'm willing- Hey, this movie is making me learn again! Damn you, Kung Fu Panda 2! You're just saying what's happening right- No! He's not talking to me, is he? A peacock is defeated by a warrior of black and white. Did no one during the development of this movie tell them what a yin and yang actually mean? It's about how opposite or contrary forces are actually complementary, which doesn't seem to have anything to do with a panda defeating a peacock in battle. It was just a recognizable Chinese symbol that they just threw in. Paul Blart Panda. Even now that he's a kung fu master, he still has some major issues with self-control. Even with Poe causing all this commotion, the wolves still didn't notice that Poe is walking around the city streets. Obvious Pac-Man reference is obvious and not enough to save this movie. They are surrounded by wolves, yet they are still able to get out from under the costume and into the barrels without anyone seeing them. Maybe they've all mastered that apparating skill that Shifu showed off earlier in this movie. They gave the wolves no time to get away. There's no way they they could have been far enough away from them to not hear them get up, start walking, and Poe get stuck and fall down, making even more noise. Also, there was a conveniently sized bucket for Mantis. Look, Gungman Jail. And they conveniently happened upon the jail they were looking for. I'll give you a signal. Gaga, -ga, Kiki! You mean like Crane does? Yeah. Excuse me, when have I ever made that noise? I hate it when the characters send the movie in the movie. It makes me feel so unnecessary. Then the weapon would kill everyone. Movie borrows mysterious super weapon of death from all the movies. Kung Fu is dead. Hey, hey, my, my. Kung Fu can never die. Monkey! Kaka! Monkey continuing to be pointless. He is like the Ringo Starr of the Furious Five. How are the Furious Five, a group that frequently runs and leaps impossibly, not able to quickly catch up with this rickshaw driven by a short-legged goat? Those rabbit children not scared out of their minds, flying up to the street on a strange panda, which to them is an animal they've never seen before. Did their parents not teach them about stranger danger? Movie steals the mine car scene from Indiana Jones and the Deathly Hollows. I mean, Harry Potter and the Temple of Doom. I mean, you know what I mean. It feels like I'm fighting a big old fluffy cloud! Okay, it's official. This guy totally has a panda fetish. These animals have very little regard for King's Landing. Eight point acupressure cuffs? 
just like the ones that held Tai Lung. A blink and you'll miss it callback to the previous film sin of why bother with this 40 minutes in. Bad guy is practicing his meet the captured good guy greeting, as though he's a good guy, when he's actually a bad guy whose soldiers captured the good guy. Guy, did they set up a memorial for the guy that they very intentionally killed? I mean, that's nice, but kind of odd to seem mournful for someone they murdered. The cannon that was so heavy the two giant gorillas didn't want to move it two inches to the left flies up into the air with little effort after Tigris jumps on the front of it. And then Mantis, who is light as a sheet of paper, is able to kick it through the floor with vigor. Okay, the sun symbol and the pattern on Shen's feathers look kind of the same, but this seems a lot harder than just using all of Shen to match up with his flashback, because he was actually there. Since peacocks are mostly flightless birds, I can only assume that he isn't actually flying, he's falling with style. How many freaking stories is this pagoda? I guess rope burn doesn't affect pandas. Where are they going? How can he see where they are? Aren't they on the backside of a building that he is pretty far away from? Because it's the middle of the year, so you'd only get like a half of the year of the peacock. Characters from within the movie are continuing to sin from the inside. They all know Poe and the Furious Five are still alive, so why are they calling all the wolves, leaving our heroes to roam the city freely? That makes no sense. Why is Mantis suddenly so much bigger? Is this some sort of perspective thing that wasn't animated well? Or did Mantis accidentally drink some drink me liquid from Alice in Wonderland? They will keep you far from danger. They are not keeping anyone from anything. They have locked themselves in a jail cell. Even though he's the Dragon Warrior, the five ditch him because they didn't see the first movie apparently. When all of China is my reward. But now he won't know where he is because he just destroyed his map. Set the soothsayer free. She's no use to me. It feels weird to send this because it almost sounds like a request, but shouldn't he just kill her? This peacock loves murder. I can't feel my face. But I love it. Hey. Why even fake say hey? That was a real gamble for Poe to almost make himself known when none of that interaction was necessary in the first place. I'm glad he's doing all this rolling, because if he wasn't, he would just be walking, which would be about the same and probably take less time. Why does Poe keep ending up with a walk on his head? They're doing it at a frequency that makes it seem significant, but all it has accomplished is additional silliness. Sudden cannon hits Poe, and I'm instantly reminded of Homer Simpson's stint with the traveling concert and the cannon gag, and I'm instantly no longer worried about Poe. Just like Yoda in the prequels, Master Shifu is relegated to reaction shots of him feeling something wrong with the Force. I mean, Kung Fu in general. Did Poe just go from experiencing his memories in first person to third person? I foretold that someone would stand in his way. A panda. Poe is basically Harry Potter. First of all, Poe's panda doll survives the fire. Second of all, would a panda really have a stuffed animal of a panda? If I grew up with a stuffed doll of a white dude, I'd probably have trouble sleeping at night. Poe finally remembers long buried memories because the plot needs him to. Poe's version of inner peace is remembering how his parents died. That's f***ed up. I guess inner peace is what allows your flashbacks to look like reality instead of two-dimensional drawings. Mom Panda puts Poe on a vegetable cart so he can be saved even if she cannot, and hello, I sent some serious Moses overtones here. Someone very dedicated to his job found this box of vegetables amongst a war zone filled with corpses and still made the delivery to the noodle shop. Now that's a hero. Movie uses over a full minute of the previous movie's footage in an emotional montage. Party foul. I am Poe, and I'm gonna need a hat. He means a walk. Everyone seems to be living their lives pretty normally, and are surprised when they see this weapon float by. Did none of these animals see or hear the tallest building in their city fall to the ground? That happened hours ago, and everyone seems pretty blasé about it. I always thought I'd meet a nice girl and settle down, and then she'd eat my head. NC-17 dialogue somehow makes it into a kid's movie. Just to be clear, Shen didn't really weaponize fireworks so much as he just decided to point them at people and things. Poe? Okay, it's bad enough all these good guys notice this really distant Poe, but then to say it out loud for Shen to hear? Are you f***ing high, Tigress? Jesus, ever hear a stealth? Shen probably should have designed a weapon that would be a little easier to maneuver. The general rule to thwart all of Shen's weapons is, don't be directly in front of it, and if you are, move slightly. Master Shifu ex machina! In a peace. How convenient that this is the lesson he just learned! The cannonball looks like the center of a plasma globe, and that's why gunpowder was outlawed forever. Wait, what? Scars heal. No, they don't. Wounds heal. Okay, if the characters in the movie can hear me, please stop sinning each other. I'm going to run out of things to say. Were those Shen's I won the battle fireworks that just happened to go off anyway? Or did this community have fireworks planned for when the battle was over? It's good that they won, or the fireworks would have been super inappropriate. What do you mean he's not here? I remember this woman. I used to have interactions with her when I worked retail. She hasn't changed a bit. Looks and sounds just the same. My son is alive. How did he find that out sitting in the hut? Maybe he was looking at his iPad and got a CNN news alert. Dragon Warrior defeats evil Lord Shen, Storming Ox announces on Twitter. The entire panda colony decided to look up at Poe's biological father at the same time with no provocation. Ah, who cares? This is all just a setup to complete the trilogy because they knew the sequel was going to make bank.
baby, be still now, don't cry. Jack. Jack. There's a boat. You're using Bonetti's defense against me, huh? I thought it fitting, considering the rocky terrain. What's in the box, Shen? You want to see? Ah, uh, what's in the box? Call in the wolves, all of them! Everyone! Who you choose to be, who are you, Panda? Superman.